Hi everyone. I just thought I'd make a haul video. I've never made one before, but I've got so many cool things and I just thought I'd like to share them with you. I went over to my mom's to ask her if she had any lace. I wanted to see make some lace flowers. So I found these really cute kind of doilies. There are they're cotton and I think there's six of them here. These really neat quilted angel wings and they have a little bit of a, a spring in them so they stay where you put them. This really nice metallic fiber but the best thing that she had is yards and yards and yards and yards of beautiful lace. And it's about, I would say, an inch and a half wide. So there was that lace. Then there was this beautiful sample that she had picked up. This is all really vintage lace. There's gold all in it. And this is probably a few yards of that wide, wide lace. It's six inches wide. There was this. And it's gold as well, and it's probably maybe three yards of this. Similar to the first one I showed you, but a little tiny bit wider. And it's got a floral design, and there must be 20 yards of this white lace. This is all beautiful vintage stuff, and I can't possibly use it all. So I'm going to put it out there. If anybody has any great suggestions as to what I can do with this lace, please post a comment. And the one that I like the best or I go with, I'll send you a, a little sampling of some of these lace pieces. One of the coolest things that I found were these old, old books. So I think what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to alter these books and make them into journals for my sisters and my um, nieces over for Christmas. So I love the cover, although the book is almost disintegrated. It's all faded from water and wear. Beautiful book. Here's another one of those smaller ones that I want to make into a journal. And there's a whole set of them here. So I've got enough to make four or five. Check out this book. That's my grandfather's handwriting. It says 1896. This was my great grandmother's button bag. Look how it's all worn out. It was leather and it's all cracked. But inside of it, some of the prettiest antique buttons. I sort of sorted some of them already. How pretty some of these buttons are. This one's got mother of pearl in it. They're just beautiful. This one has a mirror behind the gold ornate. Can you see that? Look at the size of that. Great stuff. There's some more big ones and some pearlized ones there. And this one's like in a shape, as you can see this little guy, like a flower. It even has the price on them. They're still on their original case. 25 cents and look at them the rhinestone you can see all the different buttons in there okay there was even some more stuff i've already put it in a basket this rick rack and i know it looks brand new but here's the original package 25 cents this is blanket weaving or blanket topping satin blanket topping look at this that's what it looks like in its original case but inside it's in mint condition and it's satin. It's beautiful stuff. And here's another set of buttons still on their original packaging. Ten cents for all these. Really pretty ribbon. This stuff is really neat. It's carpet binding. And I've been using this to bind some journals and signatures in the books. It's awesome. It's so strong. This spool was 19 cents. And I have another brown spool as well. These really cute vintage baby diaper pins. Aren't they cute? I'm going to add those hanging off to a mini. 
some beautiful lace. And this case is just amazing. It's my great grandmother's needle case, 1914 on here. Look at this vintage stuff, just beautiful. I can even use this for ephemera in some kind of a book or something. So that's my haul from my mom's house. While I was at my mom's place, I was looking at this magazine called Altered Couture. It's the same people that put out the Somerset magazines for art journaling, but they alter clothing. And in here, I love these shoes. They're painted. So I thought, wouldn't it be fun to paint some of this stuff and purses for the Etsy store or just for myself? So my daughter and I went to the Goodwill yesterday. We had a wonderful time. I picked up these little girl shoes for $3 and they're pink and I'm going to paint those and then put them in my Etsy store. There. And I got this purse that I'm going to paint as well. Just an old bag. So I'll let you know once I get those projects done. I've also received some great mail. This is my favorite online store, Savvy and Sassy. I'll put the link up. They have the best ribbon ever. So I got, this is their ribbon kit for March. They put out ribbon kits. Look at the price, $3.50 Canadian. I mean, look at the beautiful ribbons in here. I bought the two Tim Holtz Smooth Sizzix die cut from her. I got alterations, the one with the heart and the crown. I used that in my big shot and I got the flower one finally. Got some tape for my ATG gun, a couple of rolls, some Tim Holtz journaling tickets. And then I've been on a new eating plan. I just lost 20 pounds on the GI, the glycemic index diet. So I wanted to make a mini about my new transformations. These seven gypsy stickers and they have diet and some fun words and I love the colors of them. And then she threw in for free all of this beautiful ribbon. The last really, really cool thing I want to share with you is some great mail. I belong to Art42 on the internet and it's a place where you do swaps and basically the premise of make your mailbox more fun to go to and I mine certainly is. So just the last couple of days I just received this swap. It was um, Chunky Mini Hearts. I'll share with you. This was the one that I made. I made it out of corrugated cardboard and then added a lace flower and a ticket that says bless. Then there's this really cool one. I think she did it with Batik Wax. I love this one. I believe the host of the swap, Nikki, did this one. And with some Prima flowers. And I love the colors of this, the blue with the turquoise. And then just the embellishments that she added on the side there. I like the use of the gold hearted bread and the vintage photos. One of the little hearts came untied, but I'll add that on later. And it says, Love is in the air. And there's three little hearts tied onto that. And then this kind of funky modern painted one is very cool. So what I plan to do with these is just attach them all together. And I might make a cover and I'll bind them with a ring and use it as a little photo uh, mini book. It was a very cool, junky mini. This next one I just got yesterday in the mail. It was a bird ATC. Look at how cool that bird is. And it says birds of a feather. It's a painting that someone did. Music notes, I cut out pieces of printed paper. Very cute. Love this one. You were only waiting for this moment to arise. It's Blackbird. And this is really, really cute too with the buttons and the feather embellishment on it. Looks pretty much like someone did a photograph and used it as their ATC, which is a very cool idea. And then the host of the swap sent me some free stuff, which is really nice. A Joanne's How To um, pamphlet, clip art, lisasalteredart.com. You can cut them out and adhere them. This is really cute. Shopping Queen. Love her. She's got her wings and her crown and her wand. 
and the bad boy. He's got his little hat and his wand and his butterfly wings. So this was a really, really, really fun, fun swap. So thanks so much for watching my vintage haul and all my yummy mail that I got. And I was just so excited I wanted to share with somebody. So thanks very much for watching. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.